two opposing candidates for sheriff in Colorado are coming together despite their bitter political battle. Yeah, they both say a vandal went too far when spray painting signs of hate on a candidate's banner. Matt Croshaw joins us from Summit County tonight. Matt, both of these candidates say whomever is elected, they vow to catch that vandal. Karen, one of the big banners was up here on this sign near an intersection along Highway 9. It's now inside a, a police locker, evidence locker, as CBS4 Learning, the FBI and the district attorney's office now looking at this case. And tonight I spoke with both of those candidates, and they say despite all of their rivalries and this very heated contest, they both agree that whoever did this went too far. Shocked. Uh, you know, this community does not tolerate this kind of intolerance. Sunday morning, reports of swastikas and other hate-related images spray-painted, discovered on political signs for current sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. It's kind of hate symbolism. Uh, you know, in my professional experience, you know, the Nazi symbols uh, are, everyone recognizes them as a symbol of hate. Fitzsimon says his office launching a criminal investigation, and now they've called on experts from the FBI for help. It's just, it's disgusting. Um, it's certainly not what our community is about. Republican challenger Derek Woodman has offered up $500 of his own money to help with the reward already being offered by the sheriff's office. There's going to be, there's absolutely going to be some healing, and there's some hurt feelings, you know, definitely on both sides. I stand by this community, and I stand by that, um, we will heal as a community, we'll all come together, we'll work through this, and uh, we will continue not to tolerate this here in Summit County. Two men wanting to be elected to the same job, both agreeing this won't be tolerated here. As for the investigation, investigators won't confirm if they've been able to get any tips on this that have them any closer to a suspect tonight. They also won't tell us if there's any video surveillance in the area, but I know they were checking with some of these nearby neighbors for that. We're live tonight in Summit County. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.